two big games here in our fight for automatic promotion as we look to bring the addicts to victory. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Addicts to Victory here. Our fight for automatic promotion goes on here. Last time we left off on that two-all draw against top of the table Portsmouth. Since then, we have played five games. We've gone through most of February. Uh, we've kicked things off with that 3-1 win against AFC Wimbledon. Two from Harvey Vale. Really pleased with him. Playing great. Uh, one for Stockley as well. Afterwards, uh, we played Bolton. We won 2-1. Uh, they took the lead in stoppage time in the first half, but... Calvin Bassey got a goal, and then Jones Stockley scored as well to give us the win. Uh, then a 0-0 draw with Wigan. A little disappointing, but still, we followed up with a 1-0 win against Oxford from Ramirez's goal, and then a 2-0 win against MK Dons. Jaden Stockley and Calvin Bassey, the scorers, once again. little injury news, George McEachran got a groin strain during one of those games, so he's out for two more weeks. He'll be back before the end of the season, you know. A little disappointing to lose him. He was on a bad run of form, though, hopefully. He'll be able to pick that back up uh, when he comes back. But today's episode, we're focusing on these two big games, Sheffield Wednesday and Sunderland. Now, those runner games leave us here, second in the league table, three points off top of the table, Portsmouth, and five points clear of third place, Sheffield Wednesday, who we will be playing today. So as you can see, a crucial game. If we win that, we can go eight points clear of Sheffield Wednesday, it might not be eight points clear at the top because Ipswich are only a point behind them and Oxford are only two points behind them, but still, eight points clear of Sheffield Wednesday would be great. If we lose, I mean, we still have that two-point cushion, but it gets a bit it gets a bit more scary, doesn't it? So hopefully, we'll be able to pick up that win today in a crucial game against Sheffield Wednesday. Now, so far this season, we've played Sheffield Wednesday three times and we're yet to beat them. So, tactically, I'm trying something a little different. We're not going with the five today. Uh, we're doing what we have done in recent weeks, actually. We're going with a 4-3-3. This has been playing quite well in a few of those games I played in between in February. Uh, we started with the 5, we went behind, and then we changed to this and we, we won. So, it's been working out alright. That's what we're going to go with today. We're going for that 4-3-3. Uh, Matthews, Lavelle, Bassi, and Suari at the back. Uh, Gilby and DM, Ramirez and Forster Kasky ahead. Harvey Vale and Fiabema on the wings. And then Jade and Stockley up top. And hopefully... This team will be the one that can finally get that win over Sheffield Wednesday and we can move ourselves comfortably clear of them at the top of the table. Berahino with the ball for Sheffield Wednesday to Palmer, to Canberry, to Wing, Iofora, Luango, Iofa, Wing, Berahino. Wednesday get the cross in to Shodipo, who thankfully nods over the bar. Matthews would throw to Gilby, to Matthews, to Ramirez, to Gilby, to Matthews. Through ball to Ramirez, running through, cross in. Stockley gets to it, and what a save by the Wednesday keeper to deny him. Oh, corner here, Ramirez whips it in, headed away. Gilby picking it up to Lavelle, has a go! Another big save from Peacock Farrell, and Deviz is there to clear for Wednesday. Canberry, though, on the counter, gets it to Shodipo. Shodipo dribbling it really well for Wednesday. Back to Husband. Husband cross into the box, and Lavelle head is clear. The author, with the ball for Wednesday, gets it to Barry Bannon, to Shodipo. Shodipo to Husband. Husband on that wing, gets the cross in. Header from Canberry, saved well by McGilvery. Matthews with the throw, gets it to Ramirez. Ramirez to Matthews, cross into the box. F finds Brian Fiabema, who nods it home. 25 minute mark, Brian Fiebema's first ever Charlton goal, Sheffield Wednesday nil, Charlton won, we have the lead what a start from Charlton here and we're into added time here, looks like that's going to be it from the first half and it is, Sheffield Wednesday nil, Charlton won Brian Fiebema's goal, the difference here, XG wise we are above them uh, they've had two more shots we've had more on target, they have 62% possession they are controlling the ball but they're doing nothing with it, we're getting the ball Less than them, but we are taking advantage when we have it, lads. Very happy with that. Keep that up in the second half, and we should be able to get the three points here. The Viz with the free kick to Barry Bannon, finding wing to Shodipo. Shodipo over the top to Berahino, who smashes it against the post and was thankfully offside anyway. But still, Wednesday showing they can be very dangerous here if given the chance. Wednesday with the corner. Barry Bannon whips it in, and the Viz is header. Just over the bar. Palmer with the throw to Berahino. 
out to Palmer here, taking the ball forward for Wednesday, back to Ving, to Berahino, shot blocked, Camberry though, to Bannon, oh Ramirez intercepting well, we're giving it right back to Bannon, Shodipo, Ramirez over the top, finding Palmer, lots of time for him, wing intercepted well by Forster Kasky, Brian Fiumema taking it away for Cholton there, dribbling around, gets it to Stockley to Forster Kasky, over the top, Stockley can't quite get there, Peacock Farrell clearing for Wednesday, McGilvery gets it to Bassey. Bassey taking it forward, gets it to Suare. To Fia Bema, who dribbles round his man. Fia Bema through to Stockley. Stockley has a go. Straight at Peacock Farrell. Stockley not having the best game here either. Oh, I'm going to take him off. And, uh, yeah, let's bring on Carlos Tevez. Go on. How do you like playing, Carlos? You don't have the pace to pressing forward anymore, so... Uh, advanced forward it is. Let's see how he gets on there. Yeah, confirm that change. Also, some tired legs out here now. Uh, Ramirez, maybe a bit unsurprisingly, quite tired. So let's push Gilby forward here, I think. Do a little bit of that. And then George Dobson coming on. And also, Harvey Vale, tired and not having the best game. So let's get Connor Washington on there. Luongo gets the ball for Wednesday here. Canberry, the Viz, Luongo, Yofa, Luongo, the Viz. Out to Husband now, to Brown, to Bannon, to Wing. You can see why Wednesday have such strong possession stats. They're just passing it around. They're not going anywhere, though. It's still in their defence. Berahino to Wing, who's taking it forward now, actually. Gets it to Hunt. Down that right side, Hunt gets the crossing. Canberry's header just over the bar, thankfully. Hunt with the ball for Wednesday here, taking it forward, smashing over the top. Berahino running in behind. And thankfully, Berahino shooting wide. Just going to play a little more defensive here in these closing stages as Wednesday get a corner. And Adam Matthews beautifully blocking it on the line, and it is cleared away in the end. Oh my god. And we're deep into the three minutes of a lot of time here. I think that is going to be it. And it is, thankfully. We've finally done it. We have finally beaten Sheffield Wednesday at the full time of asking. Wednesday nil. Charlton won. Stat wise, Wednesday double our shots. We had more on target. They had double our XG, actually. And 55% possession to our 45. But we got that goal. Brian Fiona's first Charlton goal. Great performance from the kid. And we come out on top here. We get that three points. Fiabema. You deserve that goal. I am delighted with your performance. And I am delighted with this team. Absolutely flying this season. That Carabao Cup quarterfinal. Beautiful. And in the league. Which is so important. We want to bring the addicts to glory. We want to bring the addicts to victory here. Then we need to get out of League One really, don't we? And to do that, I don't want the playoffs. I want the automatic. And as you can see by that table. At the moment, as things stand. Seven points clear of Oxford who are third. Only three points behind Portsmouth, so while the title not out of t the talk completely. Uh, but hopefully we can maintain this lead next up in that big game against Sunderland. And this is how we're lining up today. Staying with that 4-3-3. Dobson starting in that DM row instead of Gilby. Gilby going a little more forward and Jan Hander coming in as well. Ramirez and Forstakowski both dropping to the bench. You know, their performance is not quite up to it. Maybe... Try something different, giving Jan the Hander a chance on that Mazzola. I'll see how he does there. Hopefully pick up the win here against a somewhat struggling Sunderland in 13th place, I think. So hopefully they'll get the win here and maintain that seven points advantage over third place. Uh, Charlton with a free kick. The Hander whips it in. Straight into the hands of Hoffman, though. No Charlton playing near that ball. Hoffman, I see number 11's pretty free on the right, but he goes for Madron up top, who gets it to that man. It's Gooch going down the right for Sunderland. Cross into the box. McGeady's header. Over the bar, McGeady, formerly of Shelton on loan from Sunderland. Playing for Sunderland here. Sunderland 13th in the table, yep. And it's still nil-nil here. Taylor with a free kick for Sunderland. Shorten Neen. Evans, Pritchard, Mandron. Pritchard, Gooch, through ball. McGeady, who does score. Shelton nil, Sunderland one. Sunderland take the lead. Oh, that's not good enough from Shelton there. Giving it away. Sunderland taking advantage. A free kick for Sunderland. Pritchard gets the ball in. Headed away, but Mandarin's picking it up there for them. To Neil. Back to Taylor. To Neil, but Vale intercepting well. 
smashes it forward. Can Jane Stockley get there? He can't. He doesn't have the pace for it. But Dobson intercepting the clearance. Matthews on ball now to Vale. Who bring, it's brought down by Taylor. And has a free kick to Charlton. And Taylor gets a second yellow. A red card for Sunderland. And we need... I'm, I'm going to make the change here. We're going to go attacking. Stockley ain't got the pace for it. Neither does Tevez. And so we're going for Washington. He's going to press that defence now. Happy about not having the best game. Going to bring on Leko in the left wing. I think that's all the change I'll make for now. Save the other one for later, hopefully. A bit more pace, a bit more attacking threat here against the now 10 men of Sunderland. We can get an equaliser here. And we have a chance here. Free kick on the edge of the area. Adam Matthews to take. Adam Matthews. Oh, hits the post. So close. Good free kick from Matthews there. Sunderland with a free kick now. Pritchard to take. And McGilvery with a save, but Mandron puts it away. Oh, for God's sake. Right. we got to go for this. We're pushing more forward. Being a bit more expressive. Send the wing backs up a bit more. Something's it's got to change here. Gilby's going to come off as well. And we're going to bring on Ramirez. Goal kick. Hoffman puts it forward. Leko gets the ball though. To Dobson. To Bassey. Bassey taking it on now. Bassey moving forward. Gets it back to Dobson though. To Washington. To Dehanda. Jan Dehanda with a great strike there. For about 25, 30 yards out. Smashes the ball. And it flies past Hoffman. And into the back end of the net. Chilton one. Sunderland two. Back in it here. Sunderland throwing deep in their territory. Alves Ibsen to Hoffman. Punts it forward. But Sam Lavelle is going to get that. Charlton back on the ball now. Can we push forward? Bassey moving forward. Finds Leko on the left wing. Back to Suare. To Leko. Oh, gives the ball away to Sunderland. Gooch over the top. Mandarin running through. But Lavelle gets there first. Gets it to Matthews. Charlton back on the attack here. Harvey Vale gives it away. Charlton need to do better. Bassey on the ball now though for Charlton. What's he going to do? He gets it to Suare. Back to Bassey. To Dobson. Who wastes it there against his former side. Chong with a throw in deep in our half. Gets it to Leko. To Dobson. Dobson passes to Ramirez. Out to Suare. Suare down that left wing. Gets it to Leko. In to Ramirez. Out to Suare. Cross into Washington. Washington. What a block from Doyle to deny us an equaliser there. Charlton. Going hard against this 10 men Sunderland, and trying to find a leveller. Matthews on the ball now, gets it to Vale. Vale out to Matthews on that right side. Matthews lots of time, washes it into Washington. Straight at Hoffman though. Five minutes left, going very attacking here. Just got to go for it at this point, I think. Time ticking away. Five minutes of added time to be played. Will there be another chance here? Will we be able to find an equaliser? Free kick for Sunderland here. We've got to win it back quickly if we want to get something out of this. Embleton going forward. Dobson with the tackle. Chowan on the ball. Suare to Ramirez. Out to Jonathan Leko. Leko to Suare to Ramirez. Finds the hander over the top to Leko. Intercepted but out to Suare. Suare on the ball. Finds Dobson. Finds Matthews on that right side now. What's Matthews going to do? Cross in. Washington blocks. Ramirez! In the 94th minute, Charlton 2, Sunderland 2, but is this allowed? Oh no. Is this allowed for offside? I thought that was it. I thought that was the equaliser. I thought Ramirez had done it. But he was offside. Oh no. That's it. That's the game. Let's be honest with ourselves there. 10 seconds left to play. We're not going to get another one, are we? I thought that was the equaliser. Matthews with the ball, but it's, it's over. Cholton won, 10 man, Sunderland 2. Disappointment. I thought that Ramirez did it. I thought that was a 95th minute equaliser. But it wasn't meant to be. As we, we face defeat to Sunderland here. Oh, disappointment. And as you can see from the table, our lead over third that we got from that win against Wednesday. Completely gone. Uh, four points clear of third place Oxford now. Seven points clear of fourth place Ipswich though. And six points off Portsmouth. That's second place well and truly in our hands. We've just got to keep doing what we're doing uh, against... When I say that, I do mean what we did against Wednesday more so than against Sunderland. But still, that is going to be it for today, I think. Looking at the schedule, 
next episodes, I think, barring anything big, we will be back for the final days of the season. Games against Shrewsbury, who are 16th, and then Ipswich, who are 4th. A very tough game. Ipswich, 7 points behind us at the moment, but who knows what will happen in the 9 games in between. They could catch us up. That could be the decider for 2nd place, for all we know. But that is it for today. I do hope you've enjoyed this video and you're enjoying the series as a whole. If you are, then please do like and subscribe for more. And thank you for watching.